Hey guys, Snappers here. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to be going over enums. And they can be used to pretty much hold values. So, if I were to go public enum game state, and I'll go started, finished, and waiting. And so that right there is an enum. Notice this little thing here. We need that to kind of say that that's the end of our little list. And then we still need this for the end of the line. So now this is just a basic one. Now if we were to go game state dot, you'd notice that these are now listed. So it's a lot easier to categorize stuff rather than just using strings and just hoping that you typed it right. So now I'm going to be showing you guys kind of a bit more in a advanced way to use them. So for that we go class and we're going to want to name the class the same as the enum so I'll call it game state and then I just copy and pasted this so now I personally think it looks better if you list them. That's just my opinion so in order to make it more fancy like say we wanted to give each one an ID so if we wanted to start it to have the ID 1 just in brackets, we give it the ID. Okay, and so I notice it's underlined, but if we go game state ID, or int ID, and then this dot, oh, forgot this. In order to do this, we need private int ID. And then in here we go this dot ID equals ID. So what we're pretty much doing is we're pretty much saying that this ID here, or whatever the ID of the game state, is this. So that kind of makes sense. But so, this is pretty much if you were to get an ID. Now, if we also wanted to add a string in there. So, if I went, the game is currently waiting. The game is finished. And the game is being played. Then you'll also notice it's underlined, but if we add the string, and in here we've got to go string description, and there we go. Now, if we wanted to get either of them, we'd have to go public int get id and then in here we just go return id just as simple as that and then we can also do that with a string and so return description and there we go now that is a very simple example now if I were to go into here and go game state dot started and then you'll notice here it has get description and get ID. Now those will pretty much return whatever that we put here. So uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, this would probably be something new for most of you. Uh, it might be kind of confusing at first, but it's extremely simple to add on to. If you wanted to add a disabled, we just disabled. And I'll give this the value of 3. The game is disabled. There we go. And now just because I'm going to move this one up there. Okay. And now just remember that this has to be on the very last one of all these. And then next you have pretty much each one of uh, these. So the first one's an ID, the second or an int, the second one is a string. And then in here we're pretty much just assigning them. And here is where we get them. So, if you wanted to add, or like I said, if you want to add something else, you just go in here and I'll just say we have an amount, just because I can't think of anything else. And so we got four of them, four of them, two of them, and we don't have any of them. And then in here, this dot amount equals amount. And I forgot to put it here. 
private amount. And there we go. Now if we also wanted to set one of them, give you public void set amount amount and this dot amount equals amount. So then it's gonna kinda underline. But that's because we're not getting amount, so we just add that. Get amount. There we go. And now on here, if we retype this, so started dot, and there you go, set amount, and get amount. So it definitely makes a lot of stuff easier. And I'll show you guys an example. Okay, and here are two examples. Now this first one's a pretty simple one. Now it's just uh, death types. So arrow, melee, out of time, gun, another. And then here is kind of a more advanced example. It's what I use for the messages. So first one's the format, format line, and it just works its way down. Now in here is the config path. So if I go down to here, you can see I have the private string. It's setting the string, or yeah, pretty much registering the string. And then here we're going to pretty much get the messages and replace whatever. So, and in here I'm not really replacing anything, so I can remove that. Okay, so pretty much what we're doing is I'm getting into the messages and getting the string, which is this. So, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if I open up messages, you kind of notice how it's formatted. So, fits along with this. So this is just one of the many examples you can use this for, it is messages. Okay, see ya.